Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 24 Introduction to IoT which deals about IoT analytics. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Why we need analytics? So once the data is processed, out of it you get some benefits where you can see what analysis of data can be done with not only with one data, with n number of data, what output can be got. So here with IoT analytics, it is clear that like it is, uh, it, it is not possible when you have conventional data processing. So when you have some uh, small formulas to process the data, process n number of data, then it is difficult. Uh, not just that, formula will be uh, used n number of times, which also increases the uh, uh, increases the time. So that cannot be done. So there should be some uh, analytics uh, that is required where the time is also less consumed and it ensures that the uh, data are processed immediately. So for that we go to, we move into sophisticated data analytics. So this sophisticated data analytics uses different tools like k-means, decision tree, random forest, k-nearest neighbor. See these are all some tools that is uh, that is used by the sophisticated data analytics such that it, it is all a kind of algorithm that is performing the processing of data and bringing out a very accurate, accurate analytics. The density based spatial uh, clustering of application with noise algorithm. So these, these are the algorithm uh, which is used in deep learning or machine learning. You obviously know what it is. So we'll be seeing that, uh, about that in the next series of video. So here, the machine learning is nothing but, it is, uh, it is nothing but, uh, it is a one which learns or brings out some analytics without programming. It doesn't program, but be, uh, with some uh, data sets, trained data set, it brings out a, a analytics uh, without any program that is obviously done. So here the, we, uh, because of that, we tell this machine learning is a is one of a powerful tool. Like because it, it tells the analytics like how the uh, past scenario of a particular healthcare was and what is the present scenario, how it was improved, what was the drawbacks that were faced in the past scenario. So all those will be stored as a complete database in the machine learning. So here this machine learning actually plays a very important role in building the infrastructure of IoT. We tell that IoT deals with sensor, processing unit and uh, deriving with many analytics. So beside all these, there is a one who is sitting and doing all the designing of infrastructure, which is nothing but your machine learning. So here this machine, to, uh, to know about this machine learning, to simply tell it, it is completely dealing with statistics, mathematics and computer, sti computer science. So it is having n number of models, uh, models to be implemented. It is having different uh, uh, data sets with the different models that is already trained to bring out some analytics. So here, we can see some advantages of machine learning like self-learner, time efficient, which is self-guided, minimum human intervention, diverse data and diverse application. So what is self-learner means? So self-learner is nothing but it is capable of learning something which is prior and also in the real-time scenario experiences. So because of that, this improves the performance. See, I can, I can tell that the system can offer uh, better accuracy when it is analyzing the weather data. So uh, you can also see the data that is uh, four months back and also in the real time. That is something known as self-learner. Next is time efficient. So here the machine learning tools are capable of producing much faster results when compared to human uh, interpretation, how they do addition and multiplication uh, with the fingers. It doesn't do like that. It is producing faster results. So like example, weather monitoring system, which will generate a weather prediction report uh, for the upcoming uh, month or upcoming week. 
where the human interpretation uh, interpretation cannot be done actually that is nothing but time efficient self guided self guided is nothing but it is dealing with huge amount of data that is producing some result so we can search a particular item online like e in e-commerce website like flipkart amazon we search particular items so with the ml tool only it gets n number of uh, uh, results with what we search with the word we search that is known as self-guided minimum human interaction um, intervention so minimum human intervention is we tell that ml algorithm is doing everything but human does not need to participate in every step but human intervention is actually required so this ml algorithm it will train itself automatically with all the data inputs so who is giving that data inputs human is giving the data inputs where human is not interfering in the algorithm that is performed human just gave the in data inputs where the algorithm takes and trains the data set by itself and diverse data so diverse data is nothing but the iot system will consist of different sensors and it will produce diversified uh, data like based on what sensor we use so considering a profit of an industry and considering a profit of an industry in a particular year so the profits in some industries uh, how it will be done it is based on the uh, labor's efficiency it is based on the raw material consumption and also the performance of heavy machineries so based on all these the sensor is detecting everything and the ml algorithm will give you multi-dimensional data where from different multi-dimensional data you can come to a particular result that is known as diverse data handling diverse application is the machine language is actually flexible and it is available for all application domains like healthcare industry smart home smart traffic system smart transportation system so you can tell that it is diversified in its application coming into challenges of ml data description amount of data so here data description is nothing but the data acquired from different sensor it is required to be uh, it, it should be informative and meaningful right so the description of data is one part of a challenging in machine learning amount of data is nothing but in order to give you an accurate model or accurate output the model must be sufficient with amount of data the parameters to calculate uh, the analytics must be sufficient errorness data errorness data is nothing but a data set uh, may contain some noisy or error data so the learning of the model uh, depends upon the quality of data that is produced if suppose if there is an error it the model will be obviously led to some mistake selection of model is nothing but when multiple models may be suitable for uh, serving multiple purpose then one model should perform better than the other then only you can select which model is best case studies has to be done to select a model and finally quality of a model so after selecting a model through different case studies it is difficult to determine the quality of the selected model however like it is based on ml based system it automatically takes the algorithm it automatically trains the direction of quality becomes a very difficult one which are all the challenges that is faced in the machine learning thank you stay tuned for more information